Hello, I'm Charlie and welcome to Authentic Mental Health, the channel that offers advice and friendly support within our like-minded community with videos on mental health, self-help and self-improvement. So if you're new here, make sure you're subscribed and you've turned the bell notification button on so you never miss a helpful video that could help you. Today's video is coming up right after this. Have you ever felt alone in a room full of people? Do you feel as if nobody truly understands you? Do you feel empty, lost, hopeless or worthless? Does your anxiety stop you from doing things you want to do in your life? Are you depressed and don't know who to turn to for help or guidance? Are you currently struggling with your mental health? You never have to feel alone again. We understand you. We feel exactly like you do, and we are here to support you. Share your story, connect with like-minded people, learn more about mental illnesses and how you can improve your mental health. Together, we can make a difference, and together, we can reduce the stigma. Welcome to Authentic Mental Health. If you constantly feel hopeless, and feel like you're always in a state of despair, it could be a sign of clinical depression, which is also known as major depression or major depressive disorder. Clinical depression is a more severe form of depression. Most people feel sad or low at some point during their lives, but clinical depression is marked by a depressed mood most of the day and a loss of interest in normal activities or relationships. Clinical depression can make it difficult for people to work, study, eat, sleep, socialize, and engage in activities they once loved doing. Clinical depression can sometimes occur from generation to generation in families, but it can also affect people too with no family history of it. It can also affect men, women, adults, teens, and children. Figures have shown almost twice as many women as men have clinical depression. Studies believe hormonal changes during puberty, menstruation, pregnancy, miscarriages, and the menopause may increase the risk for women. Some people may struggle with clinical depression just once in their life, but others may struggle with it several times during their life. According to the DSM-5, the manual used to diagnose mental health disorders, the symptoms of clinical depression are as follows. Feelings of sadness, tearfulness, emptiness, or hopelessness. Angry outbursts, irritability, or frustration, even over small matters. Loss of interest in activities, or loss of pleasure in hobbies you once enjoyed doing. Sleep disturbances, including insomnia or sleeping too much. Tiredness and a lack of energy, so even small tasks take extra effort to do. Reduced appetite and weight loss, or increased cravings for food and weight gain. Anxiety, agitation or restlessness. Slowed thinking, speaking or body movements. Feelings of worthlessness or guilt fixating on past failures or self-blame, trouble thinking, concentrating or making decisions, frequent or reoccurring thoughts of death, and unexplained physical problems such as headaches. The symptoms of clinical depression are usually severe enough to notice a noticeable change in your life, including problems with your work, your school, your social life, or day-to-day activities. If you think you're struggling with clinical depression, I would highly recommend you speak to your mental health professional or doctor immediately, where they'll be able to diagnose you and begin to give you the help you need and deserve to get your life back on track. If you want to speak to someone immediately and you're not comfortable speaking to somebody face to face, there is a link in the description box down below where you can speak to a mental health professional right away. They'll be able to diagnose you properly 
and give you the help you need and deserve immediately to get your life back on track. The link is in the description box down below. I now want to hear from you guys and girls in the comments section. Have you ever been diagnosed with depression before? Let me and others know in the comments section down below. Let's show others here in this community that they are not alone. If you found this video useful and helpful, please give this video a like. If you're new here, make sure you're subscribed to Authentic Mental Health so you never miss a helpful video that could help you. Our social media links are in the description box down below. Take care guys and girls and I'll see you all again tomorrow for another video.